Welcome back to our channel, The Talk Show, where we bring you exciting life stories from around the world. Today, we have a special guest joining us all the way from Iraq. Please welcome Javier Jimenez, uh, Kristen, well, project director for La Liga, one of the visionaries behind the creation, solid, professional and self-sustainable football league in Iraq. Let's dive straight into his journey and, and learn how he plans to revolutionize the football scene in the country. Thank you, Javier, for joining us today. Welcome to the show all the way from Iraq. How are you? Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sanj, for having me. At- Okay. Uh, it's our pleasure. Our pleasure. I think what you what you're about to connect with the audience uh, in a very unique way. I think we'd all love to hear your story. Can you tell us a bit about yourself to start with, and what inspired La Liga to undertake such a challenging task? Okay. Well, uh, I've been always been passionate about football and uh, its ability to unite people. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, uh, you know, I've been working in such amazing industry football for more than 15 years. Wow. And now I am here on behalf of La Liga. Uh, my role is to lead the support for the Iraqi football industry transformation. And, uh, okay, living in Iraq, I witnessed uh, the immense love for the sport, mm-hmm. but also mm, the challenges faced by local teams due to our lack of resources and infrastructure. So we need to create a new league that uh, not only focuses on showcasing talent, but also in- ensures long-term sustainability for the teams and uh, the league as, as a whole. So this challenge <laughs> is what inspired me. <laughs> wow, wow. And uh, I, how many, I know that you are both based in Iraq, but you also uh, visit Madrid. So uh, is that a monthly thing? You come back to Madrid or is are you permanently based in Iraq? How does it work? No, I, I'm based in Iraq, but it depends on, you know, I, I, I usually go in, uh, coming and going from Madrid to Iraq, uh, depending on, on, on the job and uh, the phases right. of the project. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I go, I go back to Madrid uh, for, from time to time. Yeah. Wow. Well, that all sounds incredible, Javier. Can, can you elaborate on the vision behind this league and, and how it will be different from the existing football structure in Iraq? Mm, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Our vision is, uh, of course, with the leadership of IFA, uh, stands for Iraqi Football Association and its president, Mr. Anand Darjal. Okay, your vision is to establish a professional football league that uh, emphasizes the development of infrastructure, technology, financial fair play, coaching and youth talent programs. Uh, we We need to create an ecosystem that feeds talent from the grassroots level and uh, provides the provides a, a sustainable pathway to professional football. Uh, um, and I, I am strongly convinced that uh, this will contribute to the overall development of, of sports in, in, in Iraq. So at the end of the day, it's uh, to create a league in image and likeness of ours, of La Liga in Spain. So some sort of a mirror kind of thing. Yes, yes, yeah. something like that. It must be very tough. I mean, obviously, Iraq has its own infrastructure when it comes to football. Enter Javier with his uh, his sort of uh, challenges, etc. Is it hard to take on a model that is already existing? It's not like you have a blank canvas. You've already got something there to mould and shape. Is it difficult? Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, <laughs> there are... Are challenges and, 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 and a lot of obstacles, mm-hmm. but but we see them as opportunities for for growth. Uh, for instance, one of the main hurdles is securing funding and sponsorships mm-hmm. to support the the league's operations and, and development. And uh, but we are actively engaging with potential investors and sponsors, both locally and internationally, mm-hmm. to create a strong financial foundation. 
Uh, additionally, we are collaborating with government bodies to ensure the necessary support uh, and resources are in place to facilitate the, the league's growth. Fantastic. Well, that's the most important thing that the funding is there. So, um, have you made a lot of contacts over there? Yes, I mean, is it uh, is it something that I mean, have you fitted in straight away? Was language a barrier? How did it work? Okay. I mean, you know, tell me about that. That's quite an interesting thing because I know La Liga is a Spanish league. Yes. Obviously, coming into Iraq, was the language a, a challenge? Yeah, yes, because uh, unfortunately, um, there are only a few people who speak English. I mean, uh, of course, Spanish, yeah. uh, almost no one, but uh, uh, most of uh, people, they only uh, know how to speak Arabic. So, right. and, you know, Arabic is a very, very difficult uh, language. Uh, I am trying to, to do my best at least to to learn uh, <laughs> yeah. a few words, you know, shukran for yeah, yeah. you, the salam It's alikum. amazing, amazing task. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is one of uh, of our uh, the one of the weaknesses of of this uh, country. I, I mean, it's, it's something like in Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, no, in the past uh, was the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But okay, in the end. Uh, We are you're getting around the hurdle. Yeah, you're getting yeah, around. Yes, yeah. yes. But in the end, it's something that you know that the main contact, the main stakeholders of, yeah. of the project, yeah. they, of course, they speak English. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it's fascinating to see the impact uh, that this league has uh, on the football landscape in Iraq. How do you envisage, um, or, you know, this league contributing to the overall development of the sport in the country? I mean, you've got to take something that's barely there and make it the forefront or of, you know, the attention for Iraq, the, the main league. It course, must be very difficult. 100%. Uh, in the end, uh, our goal is to create a league that not only produces uh, top-level football talent, uh, But, but also promotes a sense of community and national pride. You know, uh, as I mentioned before, by investing on, in, in infrastructure, IT, coaching, and so on, we aim to create a sustainable football ecosystem that uh, will nurture future generations of players. Besides, uh, I'm sure that the professional league will attract international attention and talent Uh, putting Iraq on the global football map and even boosting tourism and some kind of investment in, in the country. Wonderful, yeah, and that's what it needs, I think. So um, what about, um, are you there alone or do you have a team with you? I'm curious to know. I mean, you can't be a one-man <laughs> band, surely. Yeah, there is there is a, another person. He's uh, the sports manager. He mm. Is specialized on above all in, 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 in sport as a, te, as a technical sure. manager. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have uh, people from Iraq that uh, they are supporting me, of course. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, all the, the staff of La Liga, uh, the, the different uh, departments and, and verticals, yeah. they, I, I, I need the, their support. So, and they have come uh, here. Uh, Uh, so yeah, it's in the end. This is the project is, is from La Liga and only the you know maybe the liaison between I mean, La Liga. You, you are a very talented man. You have a, a great depth in football. For the people who don't know you here in the UK, could you enlighten us and tell us a little bit about your background in football? Okay, I've, I started more than 15 years ago. As a CEO and um, vice president in Cordoba, a Spanish professional football club mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the second division, but belonging it belonged to, 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 to La Liga. La Liga is made up of the first and the second division in, in, in Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, three years uh, we we were promoted to the first division in the season 2013-2014. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time. Football was almost broke, yeah. but fortunately, uh, the president of La Liga, Javier Tebas, joined uh, as president uh, in 2013, mm -hmm. and everything changed. The, the, the governance, the, the, the TV rights, the income, the debt to the tax agency. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a, 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 a huge transformation, 
to the professionalism. And this situation is something something similar, not the yeah, same. Yeah. But you no, know, we have oof, a lot of work uh, to, to, to do and the situation is similar. So, you know, I, I, I know how to do it because I live this... Yeah. Some kind You've of actually lived through those challenges, yeah. Funding and you know it is a it's a broken system that you have to fix. Um, tell me about scouting. I mean, there must be so much hidden talent there since you've arrived. I, I guess you yourself have actually, you know, borne witness to seeing some growing homegrown talent out there. Yes, um, actually, yeah. The, tell uh, me about that. The, the coach of the national team is Spanish. Mm -hmm. His name is, is Jesus Casas and all his, his team. Mm -hmm. And uh, he even, uh, you can see, uh, there is talent because, you know, these people has, uh, have suffered a lot. Uh, they are hungry yeah. and, 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 and there is talent. But the problem is, you know, the, the, the lack of infrastructure, even the knowledge of the coaches. So we are going to to prepare uh, training courses for them. And the way even the, the grassroots is, is essential, the, 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 the grassroots of, of the Iraqi football, we, we need to change it because they they are not used to uh, even to train the way they have to do. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, uh, the, the idea is in, uh, okay, the potential uh, future uh, to find uh, out uh, uh, talent, uh, one of yeah. our, uh, main project here is the the, the youth talent uh, development, right. uh, but you know it's a, a country with almost uh, five, uh, 50 million people, and uh, okay, they are uh, now in in the good position yeah. uh, uh, to and, and of course with our support that uh, football can be a key a crucial. Uh, way to develop this talent that uh, yeah. exists yeah amazing amazing and so tell me about um uh, you know the uh, the investment side of it i guess somebody somewhere who's listening to this podcast wants to get involved how can they get involved contact la liga contact yes. you how can Maybe. they do it they can they can contact me better because it will, mm -hmm. of course it will be more more agile and uh, I am absolutely open because we need that, uh, you know, to create, of course, our support from La Liga is important, but uh, to create an image of this new uh, professional institution that uh, will run the Iraqi football uh, call, it will call Iraq Stars League, we need to attract investment. Of course, they, they have to... It's the, the, the idea I, I mentioned a few times before is the sustainability. I mean, now uh, Iraqi football uh, is running thanks to the funds from the government. Right. But that uh, has to change. I mean, it's necessary that uh, La Liga could be... Uh, Stands on its own two feet. feet. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So long-term sustainability relies on investment and uh, yes. that sort of thing. But what about the actual, I mean, what do you, when do you envisage the, the first sort of league match? I mean, have you got a timetable? Is, are there some deadlines? Should we be looking out for things like that? <laughs> Actually, this season started in October and will finish right. uh, uh, in, in, in July. Mm -hmm. uh, next season, even we, we have to change some of the protocols, uh, we have added new uh, systems, for instance, the, the, uh, the playoffs and playouts, uh, uh, the asymmetric calendar. So we have implemented uh, some things in this competition, right. but this is a, okay, it's a three year agreement, yeah. uh, but yeah. uh, each season you will uh, see uh, uh, improvements. So next season, the idea is to start uh, with uh, a few uh, new ideas uh, yeah. that uh, now are, has been implemented, have been implemented in La Liga. But you know, it's not something that you can do uh, from one day to no. to another. It's uh, a plan, right? But, but yeah. uh, of course, the, the weather is is very is very tough here. is 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 very hot. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are implementing all the platform yeah. system strategies yeah. 
from La Liga. And in the end, the idea is that at the end of uh, 2026, the, the, the third season of the agreement, uh, the competition will be absolutely uh, in, in economically independent. And Do you they- find, I mean, I saw a wonderful poster of you with standing with all these uh, big names behind you at some sort of an awards ceremony. It said they're Saudi and all of these different places. So I guess your work could actually impact the rest of that that side of the world. Yes, of course, and because we, the idea is to be, you know, as, as I mentioned before, uh, <laughs> putting it back on the global football map. Yeah. But at least in Middle East and North Africa, uh, to be one of the main protagonists in, in, in football, even uh, in other countries, I, I can't mention yeah. the, the sure. end of the confidence, but... It's uh, something that is is impacting. Even yeah. we can, uh, we we have the opportunity uh, to uh, expose the project in World Football Summit in Jeddah. And yeah, I know that uh, the president of uh, uh, Iraqi Football Federation he is uh, receiving calls, uh, and there are a lot of people in this uh, area of the world yeah. interested on what uh, this agreement is about. Wow! Wow! Okay. Well. Javier, thank you. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, we're running out of time, but thank you again, uh, you know, for uh, for joining the show. Delight to have you on the show. And perhaps we can get you back on the show to talk about how the project has developed. I mean, it's a, a very exciting and very positive thing. Um, so, yeah, but definitely. Yeah, it'd be lovely to have you back. Um, well, look, I, I hope that uh, the audience found this conversation inspiring as much as I did. Stay tuned for more stories of innovation and passion from around the world. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep dreaming big and making a difference. Javier, thank you. See you very soon. Thank you very much, Sandra. And uh, thank you to your audience too. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.